What's up ladies and gentlemen, Chris here for Hano Media. I'm glad to welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about how to configure the Haskell environment. And like uh, for every programming language, we need to set up the environment so as to make our computer be able to recognize that what we are doing. And in this case, we're going to see how to do that uh, on Haskell programming language. And pretty much the same, we're going to open our browser to get the setup of this a uh, Haskell and on the Google search bar you can go ahead and type uh, for example let me say uh, uh, install Haskell uh, platform like this one and put, uh, press enter and once you press enter the first link that will come will be from the Haskell.org and you can go ahead and click on here so and let's wait for this to be done and in this case to will bring uh, these windows uh, options and you can see all the configuration that we need to do and we're going to first go on the first link that it will uh, recommend us the first step is to configure the, uh, the chocolatey on uh, our computer so to do that we're going to go ahead and click on here um, uh, all right we have to bring uh, this okay and you can see that there will be this step one to subscribe for chocolatey there, there is this uh, uh the requirement and there will be the link on where you can uh, copy this command and you will paste it on your computer and i'm going to do this by uh going and copy this and before we proceed to any installation we have to check if there is no previous installed uh, this chocolatey so go in the run and type ghc in concept to see if there will be any haskell development available uh, installed there is no one so we have to go ahead and open our powershell so let me scroll down to Windows PowerShell and I will open it as an administrator, run as administrator and type yes. And once I'm here, I'm going to zoom a bit. I'm going to uh, minimize this one and I will have to paste this. And once I paste this, I can, uh, this I can go ahead and uh, press enter and you have to wait for the processes to be done. all right and once this is done we will need to uh, close and open our uh, powershell so i'm going to go ahead and close this and i will go back to where i was on the powershell so let me go on the windows powershell and run it as a administrator again and we will need to proceed with the step number two and let's go there it is now here i'm gonna go and go back and the, se the second one is the upgrading of the old Haskell platform installer. And in this case, we don't have any uh, recent Haskell installer. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. That is the, the, the first, the first time installation command. I'm going to copy this and I will paste it in here. And you have to wait for a couple of minutes because you're going to download the package. So we're going to wait for a bit and uh, I will continue when this is done. And when you reach here, it will give you uh, on where you have to approve. If you want to approve or you can go ahead and type or to approve or. And if you need to, you can go ahead and type Y for or for Y. Uh, for example, let me write or like this one. That's what it suggests. So as I will no longer need to type yes, 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 it will have to accept all packages. So go ahead and press enter and wait uh, for the processes to continue. All right, and once all the processes are done, there will be these commands that is called the refresh env, and it will be for refreshing the environment. And as you can see here, it is now the second command when we we come from this uh, installation of Haskell. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter, and it will not, have, not take much time. And as you see now, it is completed successfully. And once this is now complete, you can see this was a hair of a lot of processes but they have been gone through and we can go ahead and close our PowerShell and go in the run 
I was having this command prompt. Let me close it to go in the run and open the command prompt again. And when you try to type GSC and you press enter, you can see now. Um, let's see now. Or GSC. Uh, sorry, GSC. And you see that there is no import file and it can give you for example a, or an option like for example hyphen hyphen help and you can see now it can give you a bunch of things that you can uh, use from here and you're going to perform a, a test uh, by using a vs code editor so you are, you are going to try to add two numbers and we will try to import the module in this so as to check if this is now working so i'm going to go ahead and minimize my uh, command prompt like this i'm going to create a folder on where i will restore my things and in this case let me go on my d drive and create a new folder for example let me create a new uh for example new folder and call this for example uh haskell uh for example let me leave that as they are and inside this Haskell, I'm going to open the VS code and I'm going to try to put some simple, simple file so to see if it will work. And let's wait for the VS code to be opened. Mm. All right, here it is. Okay. This it's going crazy. I don't know why okay and once this is opened uh, there, there were some previous file that i was testing on i'm going to close them and uh, i'm going to drag and drop my folder that i i previously created and i'm going to go ahead and drag and uh, drop on here and minimize this one and what do we do yes i trust the authors and after that i'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new file from here for example let me call this one um addition dot hs and hs is the file extension for hasco and once i do that and i'm going to to add some function for example let me say function a b and this function uh, we return the a plus b for like this one and i'm going to save this and once i'm done saving that i'm going to try to see if this will work or not and let's go ahead and um minimize this and in the command prompt uh, let's see how we can use this one and there will be the notion to compile the file that we created and we are going to go out through these options to see on which we are going to use for example let's try to see gsi like this and to um to have to bring this and this will be the where we will try to import our file that we pre-created and when you take a closer look for example let me, let me try to to add for example 7 plus 8 it will return the sum and when i try to do like 8 times 8 it can return this one and we are going to bring the same concept to this function that we created to see if it will work and i'm going to navigate to my uh to the directory where i I saved my uh, my file, so in this case I will have to put this colon and I will uh, type cd and I will choose my D drive like this one to go to the D drive. Uh, let's see, uh, I was use the capital D, so let me say like this one. Let's say, uh, let's see the the syntax is incorrect. Let's see how we can do this one, and I hope it is like um, this cd. And so we are going to type to change the lecture we are going to pray to do like this one cd and we are going to choose the d directory like this one and what this means is that is that we are going to to move from the current location on where we were 
and we will go to uh, the D directory so when I press enter and now I'm in my D directory to to change from this I can also change like this one to where I saved my project in this case it was called uh, Haskell for example it was called Haskell like this all right and to see the current directory that we are in you can go ahead and type the exclam exclam exclamation mark and uh, let's do like this one and I can type for example cd like this and what this will do it will try to show you the the current directory that you are working in and in this case when I press enter you can see that I am on ND Hasco and i'm going to try to uh, load the file throughout the file i will have to put the colon and r and it is called uh let's see what we called this file so it was called addition and addition dot h a s and to 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 was trying to load but it has an error and we're going to try to change this variable for example let me choose um x y and to return for example uh for example x plus y let's try to debug where there is an error and here i have to put the space and i have to put the space and i have to put the space again i hope this is this now will work and let's try to load the module and when you try to do like this one and you can see now the module is loaded and to learn something i can call the module and i can pass some argument for example 12 plus 12 all right 24 and if i try to bring the same concept for example 30 plus 30 uh for example it will be 60 and you can see now this environment is working and this was very very hard to set up and i hope guys you nailed it and you set up the environment and it was working smoothly on you let me know in the comment if you met with any error and i'm here to help like always and uh, help me to grow my channel by pressing the like button and if you liked this video and you want others like this go ahead and subscribe and you won't miss any video uh, in the upcoming time and it was a pleasure to be with you in this video i will see you guys in the next one and peace